everybody uh, today i didn't play any disco i'm really confused of what's going on in the markets that's why i just want to have a fast video and see what's going on uh, and try to help you guys and uh, try to tell you what i believe in so if i can help one person that's one too many okay let me start with the dow industrial uh, the negative divergences we have multiple divergences. We have from this point to this point here, represented by the RSI. Okay. And we have from this point, uh, sometimes in August, early August till today, uh, in a stochastic, it's extremely obvious. And we have from this point, which is late uh, August till today, in the stochastic and I understand some people focus on price action and uh, and they always forget about the indicators uh, as far as I'm concerned my experience this is uh, not true uh, the, the divergences always mean something even in the Elliott wave uh, it's always uh, marks the end of any move but even in conventional technical analysis, this is real. This is really real. And uh, some people don't believe in it. Uh, more power to them, but my experience told me otherwise. So it's, uh, my concern is not because I'm contrarian, because I'm, I have issues, no, because I really have technical uh, uh, things, you know, that made me uh, very weary. Thank God I don't sell short. I would be really depressed and feeling loss if I sell short, but thank God, thank God I don't. So I'm all cash. Uh, so this is about the Dow. It's definitely in a breakout mode. It's definitely doing fine as far as the price action is concerned. It's definitely have a beautiful up volume. Uh, yet the risk reward, as I said uh, yesterday, it's not really good. All time high is almost there. And I don't know how high. I, I was trying to look at it fundamentally. Is the PE gonna be? Gonna, we're gonna have uh, P expansions in the future because of the QE. I really don't know yet. Uh, I have to have my time and read more about this topic. Even though it's my area, so I'm not. Uh, I'm not really. Uh, I'm uh, fundamentally literate, uh, so it's my area. Uh, and I worked in it, uh, in the institutions, and I also have a master in financial analysis. So this is really my area. I'm not, I'm not new to that. But uh, I really want to focus on this new idea that QE infinity. Is it going to affect the, the PEs in the future? Is it a new thing? That's why I want to keep my mind open. I don't want to. That's why I didn't sell shorts. Because I really want to keep my mind open. I want to focus. This is uh, I make living off of this. I'm not here to 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 fight the market. I just want to understand what's going on. So I'm I'm gonna take my time to study this topic in particular, and, and have an open mind. Uh, this next chart is uh, the put to call in the weekly time frame, and this is the down decimal in the weekly time frame. Historically, this never happened to have. Uh, a bottom at this level of put to call or a, a continuous uh, risk-free carefree rally uh, quite the contrary the risk-free beautiful rally happens always at a high reading not at the low reading as you see here so 101 mark this one right here it's not uh, 40 uh, 40, what is it today? Uh, I think it's it's 40, 40 uh, put to call, which means which means there uh, one one to one. That means the the equilibrium, the bulls and the bears are equal. So one o one or one ten. That means it's more bearish than bullish. That means more bears than bulls. Uh, below one that means more bulls than bears and by uh, and continuously is 50 means two bulls against one bear but this is 40 so I don't know how many so it's it's almost uh, 
two and a half, I guess. And, and what's confusing too, uh, with the put to call, I looked at the numbers. Uh, the VIX, there are more rules uh, for the VIX. So, which means people uh, are betting the VIX is going to go up. So, there's contradiction in the put to call. If you've bet betting on the VIX is going up, that means that means you, you betting on volatility. That means you betting on the market going down. Yet, the, the equity put to call is telling me otherwise. It's really confusing market. I don't know what's going on. Is it the Robin Hood of the world now? It's the new era? I really don't know. For sure, historically, a bottom, uh, a carefree, a beautiful rally does not take place here. Uh, and I looked it up f f since 2004. So this never happened. Okay, so you could, uh, you could look it up on your own time, see how tops are formed. Uh, tops usually are formed at low reading, as you see here. If you see the cursor, see, and if you see here, the cursor, right here. So it's low reading. High reading, usually give us a bottom. You could, you could look, uh, this is easy. That's why I put it uh, on, on top of each other. So I'm not really, it's not really rocket scientists, science. I'm not a rocket scientist. It's, it's not rocket science, it's so easy. So I discussed the negative divergences in the Dow and the put to call. Let's talk about risk parity, uh, risk on, risk off. And since the flush, they work together. See, this is TLT on the red, which is the ETF for bonds. And this is the Dow Industrial. It's really weird. It really is. It really, really is. And today, TLZ and the market are going up. And the dollar is going up. It's really, it's, I'm, if anybody tells me I'm overanalyzing, that person does not look at history. It really, they really does not look at history. It's not overanalyzing. It's, it's how the market worked in the past. I, I, I'm not going to be a Robin Hood investor. I have to, I have to have, I have to have an edge. I really don't have an edge here. See, uh, the only time these things diverged was in July a little bit here. Actually, no. They went together. I think in May. Even here, they work together. It's really weird. It really is weird. Uh, a lot of things in the market. Uh, and even So is it too much money in the world? Too much money going to the stock market? Uh, that's that's definitely it because because you there's no risk on risk off anymore they go up together and also the dollar is going up too today which marked the bottom so uh, I truly don't know what's going on and, and I'm I'm extremely humble I'm not an arrogant person I always admit when I make a mistake I always admit to, to not knowing I really don't know what's going on I know the, the past for sure because I could see the uh, charts. But the future, I really don't know, especially now. And yet, Wave tells me we're going through second wave. And yet, wave, wave may be wrong. I really don't know. Put to call is telling me uh, this never happened in the past. You all, this is all close to a top. This is what Elliot Wave tells me. It told me. And also, it, it helped me here, to tell you the truth. It helped me a lot here, uh, and it helped me. Uh, I, I was cash. I got cash right here, amazingly, and I was tweeting at the time. So uh, some people believe me in Twitter, and I think I'm, I'm. I don't lie. I think I'm a believable person. So uh, even if you don't believe me now, hopefully with time you're gonna believe me. I'm a good guy. Anyway, so when I see the risk parity at that time getting screwed, I said, okay, I'm out. So now I'm out. I really am out. It was so easy here to analyze the market because I was relying on the Elliott wave. So, so there's something that gave me comfort here, but not anymore here. No comfort here. So that's that. Uh, and I really wish you guys the best. Uh, all I'm saying is my opinion is cash, and it's based on, uh, on uh, things. It's not based on... 
complexity and uh, contrarian uh, dark views it's it's real yeah, i'm based it on the chart uh, good luck everybody i really wanted to post this for you guys uh, i love you guys and uh, disco is forever